So if we start with the nose, it's quite a muscular one and it has a very defined bridge. So the middle of it almost looks like a strong arm. That crease line where the cheeks meet the nostril is quite deep as well. So make sure you make that quite clear. Uh, he has very hooded eyes, but they seem to be full of intelligence and wisdom. So he's kind of peering out at us like a, a humble monk guiding by wisdom. Um, his mouth is generally kind of pursed and half open, as if he's sort of midway through pronouncing some difficult ancient word that you've never heard before. Uh, the lines underneath his eyes are quite thin, so you can go pretty soft there. His brow is quite furrowed, you know, as one might expect from a, a life spent contemplating Keats and Prowse and Beckett. The eyebrows are quite white and wispy, but with quite a clear arc that matches the shape of the eyelid. He has a very even, well-rounded cranium. I've made it a bit bumpier here than it needs to be, but I'll probably smoothen that out later. You can keep adding as much depth as you like to the corners of those eyelids. Uh, when it comes to doing the hair, you essentially treat the head and the hair as sort of three separate mountains that are kind of roughly the same height. He has a good pair of listeners on him, so I doubt very much gets by him. But he always has these little kind of wisps of hair that fall over the top of his ears. So, you know, people don't really know how much he's heard or how much he's listening. You know, a bit like Santa Claus or something. Just add a few curly lines there to the side of his mouth. Uh, the frames on his glasses are very, very slight. So it gives him this very sort of timeless, honest, educated look. You can go pretty wild with some of those strands of hair, just sort of let them trail off in adventures of their own. You know, to Ben Bulban or Inish Free or wherever. When it comes to drawing the body, you know, obviously make it quite small, but try and make his suit quite tidy and sharp as well. So at this point I move on to the ink pen and I just kind of touch, you know, a few of the extremities like the chin, the sort of the nose, the earlobes, add a bit underneath the eyes. Um, he has a very light complexion, so you don't want to go overkill on this. So you just add a bit of shade at the wings of the hair and, you know, a bit around the neck, just to bring his face forward a bit. Maybe a little tiny bit underneath the nose. And then if you want to colour him in, um, just a few things to note. Make sure you give him that sort of very pinky, white, Irish complexion. Uh, keep the hair as sort of white as possible. Um, the glasses obviously keep them nice and thin. And if you want to do that bit of head surgery I mentioned earlier, do.